good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching. <clears throat> this is Light Ecolex and another new video. Um, apologies that it's been a <clears throat> few days since I last uploaded anything. Um, it's just been a bit chaotic at the moment, waiting for things and everything else. <clears throat> um, but I do have a beauty today. So, just a quick reminder that this month's members giveaway is the Peter Rabbit Silver Proof uh, 2018 and we're doing a special for a Christmas giveaway <coughs> um, that's going to be drawn a week before Christmas for members and that will be a full um, A to Z for 2018 um, so if you want to get involved in that um, just hit the membership button or the join now I think it is um, and it's one ninety nine a month so um, appreciate everybody's support that gets involved with that so what have we got for you today so a nice red box that's all it is there's nothing on it there we open it up and we've got a 1944 to 1994 silver proof D-Day commemorative 50 pence coin. So let's have a look at the COA first. So if anybody wants to read a little bit about the uh, actual coin itself. I'll just hold it on there for a second. All right, everything you need to know about it, all on there. So designed by John Mills and inspired by his boyhood recollections of the historic day, looking up at the sky, he saw it filled with distinctly marked planes and realised that the invasion of France was underway. Raphael Maclouf's much acclaimed portrait of Her Majesty the Queen graces the obverse. And then specifications for the coin. It weighs 13.5 grams, measuring 30 millimetres in diameter, and is legal tender in the United Kingdom, struck in 925 ster silver. The finest proof quality only 40,000 of these superb coins have been issued for worldwide distribution. However, a further 10,000 have been authorised for inclusion in a three coin set. It's, it's advisable to avoid handling proof coins as fingerprints or marks would impair a delicate finish. And then you're signed there by the chief executive, uh, or who would have been the chief executive. Um, at the time so let's have a look at the coin itself we'll just pop it out of its box so obviously this is the um, older style 50p's the larger ones um, and you can see absolutely stunning um, all the planes overhead um, with the boats down below and it is an absolutely stunning design. Um, let's see if we can crack you in a bit closer. Um, I think it's a, absolutely beautiful. And you can see again um, the mirrored finish in the back with the reflection of my fingers um, when I'm attempting to move it. But uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, one I'm really, really pleased. So, I've picked this up on eBay um, for what I believe to be a, a good price or a steal. Um, I got this for 15 quid off of eBay. I don't know what sort of the going prices are on them, but I was more than happy to pick it up at 15 quid. Um, that is actually a mark on the um, plastic and not on the coin. Obviously, I'm not taking the coin out. I'm not going to. 
Um, I really like this portrait as well. Um, I think she looks incredibly young there. And yeah, just I think it's a really, really stunning portrait of her. Um, really, really nice. And you can see again just how mirrored the finish is on the background. Um, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful coin. Um, so I was quite surprised. Uh, it was finishing late at night, I, I must be honest. Um, I think it was about half ten, eleven o'clock at night it was finishing. Um, so I don't know if that was why. Um, it didn't sort of go for more. Um, but I was expecting it to go for quite a bit more if I was honest. Um, so to get it at my first bid of 15, I was overjoyed with it. So yeah, it's absolutely stunning. For me, it's one of my favourite coins um, that are commemor commemorating um, the war and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's beautiful. I say so really, really happy to add this one to the collection. So yeah, as always, just let us know down below what you think of it. Um, I'll show you, obviously, the difference in the size that most of you already know. Um, there we go. It's quite a bit, quite a bit bigger than a another. So I picked up a couple of uh, football on eBay at the same time. Um, so yeah, it's quite a bit bigger than a, what we call a standard 50p now. Um, but yeah, so let me know down below what you think of it. Um, do you consider 15 quid to be a good price for it? Um, as I say, I don't know what the sort of going going rates of these are. Um, but I thought 15, 15 quid for a um, silver proof 50p was an absolute steal. Um, maybe, maybe, I've, maybe I'm completely wrong there. Um, but it seemed like a, a cracking deal for me. Um, and I say, I think at the end of the day, um, as long as you are happy with the price that you've paid, um, that's all that really matters, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I mean, I was happy with what I paid for it. Um, the seller was absolutely brilliant. He messaged me within minutes of the auction ending and said to me, look, I can't send it today. Or tomorrow it's going to be Thursday before I can send it is that a problem and obviously I was more than happy with that uh, it's just come through the post now so I'll just leave in some feedback um, but yeah so <clears throat> please do leave some comments down below hit the like button hit the share button if you're not already subbed please sub um, until I was gonna say next time until tomorrow um, be doing the live with Lou between 11 and 1 so please do come across and join us for that giveaways fun chats bit of a giggle um, so until tomorrow much love keep yourself safe and I'll see you guys tomorrow